I heard about a real wizard living in a magical castle in the woods of Texas. So I'm going to live with him for 24 hours to see if this wizard is the real deal or just a bunch of hocus pocus. There's been this entity stuck inside of you. <laughs> it was my witch friend, Mia Magic, who first told me about the wizard. The wizard studied underneath Iboga shaman, Siberian shaman. He's very psychic. I had many questions for this so-called wizard, and hopefully by the end of our day together, I'd get some answers. How did you know that? We're going to Texas. <laughs> we almost didn't make it. How did we make it here? We did it! to the castle that is surrounded by a moat. A literal moat. Such a moat that our rental car got stuck in the moat. Take your shoes off. Just crossing this it's moat, <laughs> you guys. And yeah, okay, please don't fall with all your gear. Wait, is this the castle? Yeah, this is it, we're here. You think he's gonna be okay if I'm immediately filming our entrance? No, no, he's asleep, you have to be silent. So it, where is he? Is he like, he's sleeping? Wizard! <laughs> hey! Oh, the wonderful wizard! Oh. Of all of us! Oh, <laughs> May I ask what you're smoking? Yeah, this is a little smoking blend I made from Blue Lotus and Himalayan Galangal and turmeric. That's what the mystics on top of the Himalayas smoke to meditate, and it helps you to receive intuitive messages. Here we go. <laughs> a little bit too big of a hit there. Gently, like oh, puff okay. it, like an old man. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I have so many questions. Do you want to sit down? So what does your morning routine look like? I start with gratitude, really opening my heart. Then I light the incense. I make some magic tea. Just get some beautiful downloads, some information to guide me throughout the day. Let's I would it. like to get some downloads and do drink magic tea. Show me the way, wizard. Let's make a tea real quick. This is Himalayan Galangal and Himalayan turmeric. Where did you get this? The wizard store. What's the wizard store? Probably a thousand hours of researching online for the rarest plants and substances in the world. And this is a little Ormus. This is monatomic gold from another of my favorite uh, magic potion lines called Anu Alchemy. This incredible alchemist, Swaha Ran, he's friends with immortals, they call him. People that are 200 plus years old. How do you know if somebody is actually that age? What if they're just lying? Yeah, you know, obviously there's people that are fakers out there. But I actually trained with this old woman who could materialize things physically. Where, what, where, and how? She had literally hundreds of different things like powders, liquids, honey that were materialized uh, from another dimension. Where I'm at right now is like you're saying all these things and this is cool. It's like we want to believe these things, but I'm going to question you today if that's okay with you. Please I mean, do. that's kind of why I'm here. Oh, this is, looks like golden milk. Oh! <laughs> that means it's ready. All right. Great. This is the coolest tea set I've ever seen. And you have little spoons too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love this. Cheers. Cheers. That tastes magical. Mia explained to me that you have been kind of underground and you don't do a lot of publicity. Does it feel a little weird having this filmed? It's a little bit new. I'm just starting to do podcasts and kind of come out there again. And I just was guided to share as much as possible with the world. I know you know a lot of magical people. So why did you suggest doing a video with Daniel? His psychic gifts are amazing. He's also incredibly nurturing and loving when he does it. There's no judgment around it because of all the work that he's done on himself. Tell me about the trip you were just on. You were in Italy. Yeah, definitely. I was invited to fly out and lead a meditation for several birthdays that happened to be of some of the top Silicon Valley billionaires in the world. <laughs> How was, like, when you say that, like, I was invited, I got flown out to do this meditation for all these billionaires. How does that happen? Yeah, well, that's part of the manifestation technique because I was guided to work with 
some of the most influential people, let's say, in the world. So that's not the only types of people I like working with, but a lot of them are lost and they, and they need support to open up their hearts again. And that could really support the whole world. How did you learn all of this? Well, it was just uh, 14 years around the world. So I went to India for a few months and studied with different masters there. I lived with an African shaman for close to a year. I went to the Amazon several times, living with the tribes. I was um, on the autism spectrum pretty bad. I had suicidal depression, social anxiety. So I was basically just living in hell, level 10 hell. And I had a dream and the dream said, if you go to this place at this time, your life will change forever. And it was this festival and I was so anxious of other people, but I trusted and just went to this festival with tens of thousands of people. And then all of a sudden on this hill, there was this man with a sign that said free energy healings, but I'm gonna try it out. I just felt like a new man. It felt like I was at peace for the first time. It just felt like I woke up from a dream. Wow. Yeah. All right, I'm ready. I wish you the most powerful, magical, beautiful session and experience with my favorite wizard. And I love you guys and I'll see you later. Bye! Bye! Let's get wizarding. Where to next, wizard? To the enchanted forest. You would have an enchanted forest in your front yard. Yes. Are there ticks out here? I do not know, but I would not worry about that. Did you put this bench here? It just came, it just came here. That was one of the things on the list that I asked for. And then as soon as I really decided that and let it go, two days later, it showed up. So they had a group of participants visualize and think about DNA changing in a test tube and feel how it feels like. And then when they combined both of those, the DNA instantly shifted. I'll, I'll have to fact check that study, but fact check. I believe it. It's important to know that our language, the perception frames reality. If we see it like climbing a Mount Everest, right. then you're gonna literally create challenges so to prove you're right. So it's not hard, it's easy. Because- I feel like this is a wand. <laughs> it is, you've just found your wand, look at that. There you Whoa! go. Whoa! Oh my God, oh, this is go. so cool! How do I use this? So basically a wand is an extension of your will. So it's used to amplify your intention. You can definitely activate, activate this, uh, this wand right here. Just imagine this beautiful gold light coming into your body and it's just aligning you with the highest good. And now we're gonna program it. So for example, you could say, whenever I hold this wand, I instantly become aligned with the highest good. Whenever I hold this wand, I instantly become aligned with the highest good. Any limitations and negativity are dissolved. Any limitations and negativity are dissolved. Now imagine that going into the wand, that power, and visualize yourself in the future using that, like picking it up and instantly your back straightens and you just remember your true power. You feel that in your hands now? So this is now a sacred ceremonial item. Boom! Would you like to, <laughs> would you like to perform your first spell? I would love to just give thanks to these trees and regenerate this land here. We send all the magic to regenerate this beautiful land here, 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 here. Although I was having lots of fun playing with my new magic wand, I was still very confused by the wizard. He seemed very kind and genuine, so I decided to stay open-minded. We headed back to the castle so the wizard could take me through a healing session, and I was not prepared for what was about to happen. Ah! Perhaps the wizard was about to prove himself. <laughs> So what, what are we doing? If you had a magic wand, would you like to transform in your life? The financial support to do what I'm doing. I'm still feeling stressed around money. Totally, I'd love to support you with that. The more that you let go of the control, thinking like, well, I, the small me like needs to do this or take care of it, you give it up to your great self, your true self, because that's how you manifest. It's realizing that you're this infinite awareness and the more you just get out of the way, the more that the world will move around you to move mountains to support you. So we're gonna start with a very simple breath that will just help release all the negativity, trauma. And as you're breathing, you might start to feel a part of your body that is blocked or feeling tension. Where do you feel that the most in your body? My head. Mm-hmm. Cool, anywhere else? My root. Let's go to your root first. I want you to just feel that energy in your root because it's all ready to release right now. And we're just gonna speak directly to that part of you and say, hey, what's wrong? What do you need? So just tell your root, I'm sorry that I haven't been prioritizing that. 
and I'm ready to do that now. There we go, just letting it in. It's going into your throat, it's clearing a block there, so just feel a blue light going into your voice. Deep breath and just make a deep sound. Uh, Our now dissolving. Uh, Nothing negative can stay. So what's happening is there's been this um, entity, this darkness that's been stuck inside of you and it's being released right now and there's this last little piece. And it's about letting yourself trust, yeah. It's about just letting go. All you have to do is let go. Just a little bit, yeah. And just send it with love and say, thank you for teaching me. What it feels like, it's, it's like a sister. Do you know if your family had maybe a miscarriage or something happened where a soul came in there? Because that's what I'm feeling. Yeah. It feels like uh, the soul of your sister that never made it and got stuck inside of you. My mom, before my youngest brother was born, she had a miscarriage. I was so excited because I knew it was gonna be a girl. Well, the soul of your sister has been really deeply connected to you since that moment. And she's saying that she really loves you and she'll still be able to communicate with you anytime. But that by letting her go from your physical body, you'll have more space for your mission now and she'll be able to actually reincarnate. Do you want to speak to it? <laughs> We're going to name her Daisy. <laughs> I want her to be free. Yeah. Okay, you ready? So use your breath. Yeah, there's a lot of energy that wants to release now. This is the moment. So deep breath in and out. <sighs> Let it out. Let it out. Yeah, you got this. Yeah. It's all the trauma being released, all the dark energy that's been holding you back. The deepest layer now is all being released. So we're just gonna take a few minutes and let you just settle into that. This healing session was so intense and powerful that I stayed in the fetal position for an hour afterwards. Was the soul of my unborn sister really inside of me for all these years? Nonetheless, I started to believe that this wizard might actually be onto something. My whole body feels like the heartbeat is like going through my whole body. How did you know that? The whole time actually I saw your sister and I, I waited a couple minutes to tell you because I didn't fully understand. I tuned in and realized, oh, that's really the, the soul that's in your body. And that's why it was so hard to let it go. Uh, you did great. That's so weird, because I never think about that. My stomach kept like, all of a sudden it started moving around, like all yeah. the tension was like releasing. Yeah, because even our organs, our colon, our liver, it holds a lot of those emotions. So as soon as you decide to let it go, right, everything in your body starts to shift. My old daisy earrings, it's like just a little flower, like, this is a daisy. That's so weird. Thank you so much. Yeah, I appreciate you. Mm. So this is a little lucid dreaming tea we just made with butterfly pea flowers, blue lotus, mugwort, and some colloidal gold to activate our clarity for tonight's dream space, to receive messages, to receive visions. I have been wanting to access the dream world so badly. Hopefully I can have some fun dreams tonight. Well, let go of the hope and just set your intention. <sighs> this. I'm really curious about your story. It's been challenging being born with these hypersensitivities. I also had so much trauma that it was very hard after a while to open my heart. You mentioned earlier that you were on the spectrum. Yeah. Can you share more about that experience? I was still able to speak. I was still able to go to college, but just having an authentic emotional connection with someone was pretty much impossible. Do you get bothered if people think that you're a fake? charlatan or a phony? I used to when I doubted <clears throat> that myself, but now I just see myself as a student of life. I always go into these situations very questioning and open, and I'm actually still shook at <laughs> what came through. In the morning I will report the amazing, fabulous, insightful lucid dreams that happen. Cheers to that. <laughs> What do we have here? I call this Eternity, and it's inspired by a formula from Chinese medicine that Taoists would use to live very long lives. I'll tell you a little bit about my 
dreams. So I was going into this super bright light and it was almost like I knew I was going into a portal to visit other dimensions or like a past life or something. I was like working in a factory, like boxing things. It feels like it's showing you an aspect of an old life where you were forced into doing things mechanically that you didn't like to do to really face that and let go of that deep pattern within you to fully launch yourself into what you want. I think that we should do another video. Manifestation formula from the billionaire's wizard. I would love to. Sound good? Let's do it. So that's where we're gonna leave this video off. This has been really cool the last 24 hours to step into your world. Thank you so much for welcoming me and the Vibe Tribe into your life. If you wanna see this manifestation formula video, you know what to do. Subscribe, smash that like button. So I've done this before when I resonate with different things I've tried in videos. I always wanna encourage people to follow their intuition and if it's calling out to them to try it out. So we want to give the Vibe Tribe a really special discount to Daniel's courses and all of your offerings. Just check out dreamporting.com slash sky. And we have a list of different courses. I would love to have you on and support your journey. All right, that's it. Thanks so much for watching and the adventure continues. Bye. Got a lot of time on our hands. Yeah, yeah. Don't have to rush a thing, don't you know? Easy, let it come. Let the sister sun hit ya. Easy, let it come. Don't worry about tomorrow. Why waste your time working nine to five? Yeah, we're so young, baby, and we're flying to the sky.